Welcome. In this video, we are going to explore Gutenberg compatibility, or what does it mean to make a theme Gutenberg compatible? The first thing to mention is that Gutenberg should work out of the box with any theme. Remember, Gutenberg is just the editor experience, so it's still going to be the content on the front end. Now, it's important to point out that Gutenberg compatible or Gutenberg compatibility has a range of meanings. And we can explore that range by looking at the various ways that a theme can customize or integrate with Gutenberg. The first way that we have for a theme to customize the Gutenberg experience or integrate with it is to simply apply custom styles to the default Gutenberg blocks. This will make sure that they all align with your theme and look really nice. Now you could take that one step further and make sure that those blocks are styled the same way in the admin or editing experience inside of Gutenberg itself as they are on the ultimate front end of your site. Remember, we have the goal in mind of trying to match the editing experience as much as possible to what the final version will look like. We can also add support for features like align wide and align full, which make things like the cover image stretch to 100% the width of your screen or site. Additionally, we could introduce color palettes into our theme, making sure that when people select certain colors inside the editing experience, those match as best as possible colors that will go well with our theme. Likewise, our theme can introduce block templates so that users see default block layouts based on what type of post type they're dealing with and giving them the assurance that that particular layout will look particularly nice with your theme. In addition to styling blocks on the front end and in the editor, you could also style the editor itself, for example, changing the width of how it appears or other major features. This is going to be less common, but it is something that a theme could do. Finally, we have a number of other Gutenberg-related hooks in the PHP or even in JavaScript that a theme could potentially use to customize the Gutenberg experience. Now you could see from all of these ways of customizing or integrating with Gutenberg, what it means to be a Gutenberg compatible theme can have a wide range of meanings. And not all themes will need to leverage all of these in order to be considered Gutenberg compatible. Now it is important to point out that not all Gutenberg features will work out of the box. For example, you need to add support and styling for wide and full align blocks. As I mentioned, this is a feature that will allow something like an image to be displayed wider than the rest of the content or full width all the way across your screen. As you can imagine, this could be difficult for Gutenberg itself to execute in your theme without knowing your styles and the layout. So this is something that your theme will have to add manually in order to work on the front end and display properly. And if you don't set it up, a user will simply not have that option like in the first option we see here at the top. However, the nice thing is, is that this is one of the only features that your theme will likely have to do some extra work to support. And is probably something that people are going to be considering Gutenberg compatible to have a feature like wide and full width enabled. For this reason, we'll take an entire video just explaining and exploring this in a bit more depth. Now, in addition to this feature, it's also important to remind you that you want to make sure that blocks look good out of the box with your theme. Now, Gutenberg blocks by default should have pretty consistent and good styles that should align with your overall existing style guides. However, it is important to create some testing pages where you have a bunch of different types of blocks and you could see how they would look in your theme. Hopefully, this is a process that you already do with your current themes and using various types of testing or dummy data. Along the lines of testing, it's very important to test all content using custom fields, page builders, short codes, and plugins. Some of this extends beyond the scope of just looking at theme development However, custom fields are something that you want to test to make sure there is no Gutenberg editing conflicts. Page builders, you want to make sure that all of your content still works and find out whether you're editing with that page builder inside of the Gutenberg experience or being kicked out into a completely separate page builder editing experience where you don't have to worry about Gutenberg. Additionally, things like short code should be tested and any other plugins that might integrate or affect the editing or displaying of content. So to wrap up our look here at Gutenberg compatibility for themes, first of all, we want to make sure that all blocks are styled nicely. 
This may mean you don't have to do anything, but I would encourage you to test all the blocks to make sure that that really is the case. Second of all, you will most likely want to provide wide and full aligned support, at least in some of your templates, particularly full page width ones, and you want to make sure that that works properly. I would say that in order to really consider your theme Gutenberg compatible, this is a feature that you will need to provide support for. Additionally, you could apply color palettes, which are a great idea, although possibly optional. And you could code out some block templates depending on the niche of your theme, although these may be optional or something that your theme does not need to support. You may also want to look at customizing the editor styles that goes beyond just styling the normal blocks. This, however, is also something that I would say is completely optional and something that is going to take place less frequently than some of the other customizations you may do. And then finally, there are a number of other more developer-centric Gutenberg-related hooks, and you could use and leverage them as needed. Now, you should be able to tell from this list that you don't have to do all of these to consider your themes Gutenberg compatible. However, you do have to make sure that your theme and any required plugins at least work and look nice, and from there likely provide at least specific page templates, if not all of your theme, supporting wide and full aligned blocks. So I encourage you to keep all this in mind as you go through the course and prioritize what you want to learn, and then also keep this in mind as you market your theme and see marketing in other themes. And of course, let's keep in mind that all themes should technically work with Gutenberg out of the box unless there are other plugins involved that are conflicting. But Gutenberg is just the editor experience and the content should display the same in your theme as it did before the Gutenberg editor was introduced. That said, we've covered a number of things and we'll explore them further in this course that we could do to make our themes even more Gutenberg compatible.